Hello and welcome to video swatching. Today I would like to start by thanking my patrons. All of you make it possible for me to continue making videos and to improve the quality of them. Hello and welcome here today. I'm going to be giving you a preview of the Hot Utils app for Swaga and I'm also going to go through some of the features. And let me start by saying that my allergies have been starting to acting up so if I'm sounding weird and if I cough a lot I'm very sorry it's because I've got a slightly runny nose and my throat is a little sore but hopefully it won't uh, compromise the video too much. So I'm gonna start out by saying that Hot Utils is a really really good app. I've been using it since last summer and uh, I gotta say it's the best investment I've ever made in uh, Swaga. It's uh, $10 a month for a Patreon level that I'm at. There are also Patreonage levels at $5, 10 20 and $40. And the $40 one, oh, I'm so longing for that, but right now I'm gonna have to take it easy on that one. So we're gonna dive right in. As you can see here, this is the main menu when you log in to the Hot Utils app. The site is hotutils.app. And then you can log in with your Facebook account or with your Gmail account. But if you don't have an active Patreon to the site, you can't use any of these features. This side, uh, this screen is gonna be pretty much empty if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna start with watching uh, how this screen looks. As you can see here, it will show you the player, your galactic power, character GP, ship GP, your guild, and your guild total GP. Uh, this is not something you can see in game, but still, it's good to have since the in-game uh, galactic power can be kind of buggy sometimes. <laughs> I hope you know what guild you're in. So we're gonna check out this GAC history tab. Uh, I used it very frequently when I started using hot users, but lately I've been uh, not very good. You have to do a record um, command with bot and then it'll record your matches and you can see what you've done where. Uh, we can see here I have a complete win against the Dark Spoiler Aredil. You can watch here and you can see here uh, my teams that I put on defense, his teams. You can also see the teams here, uh, how much power they had, their max speed. You can see here tenacity and potency percentages, speed per unit with their mods, even the fleets you can see here. and. Uh, <coughs> I'm pretty sure I can see, yeah, here I can see his teams as well. So I can see his uh, Asage here had a 206 speed, I defeated it. You can also see how many defense each team took. Uh, I, as I said, I haven't used this feature that much, but I'm pretty sure that I would do it a lot more if I, um, uh, if I ever faced an opponent that I was, wasn't really sure that he was, wasn't playing dirty. It would, um, I would check this screen a lot more then. Next up we have the GAC compare button and since there's no active GAC right now I can't show you how this works but I've saved an old pair that I'm gonna show you. It looks like this and when you get it like this you're gonna be uh, pretty spooked because you can't read anything. It's um, But it, that's only because picture is in so, such a high resolution so when you zoom in like this instead you get everything in super crisp quality and as you can see here it's gonna list up pretty everything you could want and more you can see which league everyone is in at the moment you can see their current rank their score best score their lifetime scores offensive wins undersized defense clears i mean there's more information here than you could ever want for. You can see how many mods the opponent has. The relic summaries. Here you can compare characters. First, in this uh, upper section here, you got the meta characters. Those are characters chosen by Hot Sauce that um, compares uh, the characters that are meta at the time. 
You can also see here your personal list. I only add the crew there right now, but uh, this is an old post, I have more right now. If you want to check other characters than those that are listed in meta and in key characters, you can add your personal characters here. If you want to know, for example, how the opponent's crew is, or how their oppo your opponent's other characters is. Uh, since this is an old one, I'm gonna say that the Galactic Legends are here on the current ones and also a couple of other key characters. I can't remember which right now, but this is kept very up to date. I've never been... Uh, I've, uh, the reason to why my personal list is so short is because to me all the other characters that I need to know are already, already listed here. You can see ships, speeds. The arena, te arena team for each player here. Their best mods. Here's a, I have a transmitter offense with 27 speed. He has a one with 26, 23, 24. Top 5 characters in speed. This is uh, for every grand arena round, I will use this and take 10 15 minutes to evaluate my opponents. And if I'm short on time, I'm just gonna check the one that I'm gonna face the next, say I would be facing Barhilo over here, I would check out the speeds on his team, this is really good for knowing what to set on defense. For example I would know here that his Darth Revan is faster than mine, so I wouldn't save my Darth Revan for offense, I would use it on defense instead. That's pretty much it for the Grand Arena compare tool, it's a really really good tool. That has saved me several times in Grand Arena thanks to the ability to compare everything. Next up we got the mod manager and this is to me by far the biggest and best reason why you should get hot utils. The roster loadouts is pretty much as it says roster loadouts. These are all loadouts that I've done beforehand in Grand, Grand Ivory's mod optimizer. Here I have for assault battles with my knight sisters. All I have to do is click load. It's gonna take a few seconds and it's gonna move around all the mods in game for me. Here's my default one that I have active right now. Mods for the cam mission, SM mission in the LSTB. Here's our general's mod set for LSTB and my SDR mod set. So this is by far the best reason. Here I got mods that can move around for eight hundred thousand dollars. Eight hundred thousand credits, not dollars. <laughs> that would be really expensive. All I have to do is click there. It's gonna take a few seconds for it to load. Depending on how big the mod set is, it's gonna take longer and shorter. Of course, more mods to move. It's gonna take a longer time. We're gonna do this and when I come in game all the mods are gonna be prepared and one thing that I love about this is that if this mod set were to contain uh, regular mods on a gear 11 character and you were to upgrade those mods to 6 dot mods you're gonna get a message here on status that says that you can't load these mods because you have upgraded a 6C mod, you can't use the character below gear 12. So this is really good, you're gonna... This is the best reason to get hot utils. So now that I've used that, I can just load back my default one again. It doesn't take long at all and it saves you a bunch of time. It's gonna shorten your time spent with mods and it's gonna entice you to do more mod sets. The only reason why I have five here is because it's easy, so it's just move. If I had to use the in-game sets I would be tearing my hair off each time I had to do a raid or when territory battle started or the assault battles began or anything. Also on this page you can see the unequipped mod manager. This is a really really great tool for when you're farming mods or when you have to sort your mods, if what's to keep, what to throw away, what to sell. And also Grand Ivory integration. This is pretty new for maybe a couple months back since after New Year at least. All you have to do is click generate link. It's gonna take you to Grand Ivory. It's gonna give you a link that's gonna take you to Grand Ivory. And when you do that your account will be synced with Grand Ivory and you can 
remove your mods and create the mod sets straight from Grand Ivory. Uh, earlier you had to do this manually, so I, I'm really loving this integration, it's really really good. Uh, but we're gonna check out the Unequit Mod Manager now that it's moved my gold mods. And uh, I love this tool as well, but one thing that is a pointer that I'm gonna give you is that you may wanna zoom out when you do this. Because uh, it can, there's a lot of mods sometimes, right now I have 7 to 8 mods here. And there's a 227 mods here, so if you don't get a good overview of it, it's gonna uh, make it um, harder to use. It's gonna not, it's not going to be um, so incentive to use for you. So what you can do in this tool is, this is all your unequipped mods, as it says, the unequipped mod manager. You can't modify the uh, mods that you currently have equipped in your characters. This is a good thing because uh, otherwise you might accidentally sell those mods. And Because what I use this for is mostly filtering out bad mods. So this is all the mods that I have right now that are incomplete. Incomplete means that they are not fully unlocked. Uh, full unlock uh, by saying full unlocked I mean that I haven't exposed their uh, stats basically they're under level 12 uh, so what you can do then is I have all of these 72 marked I click upgrade expose max I'm gonna give you a warning it gives you that warning when you pass mm, I'm not sure about the number but maybe 10 to 15 mods that you do at a time if you do less than that it's just gonna roll around and do the action for you. It's gonna show me credits available, how much it's gonna cost, and how much I'm gonna have after. And all the mods are here. Press continue, it's gonna perform the action. And the great thing about this is it doesn't take as long as it would take for you yourself to log into the game and manually um, upgrade each of these mods. So once again, you're saving a bunch load of times on mods and mods is an elitist part of the game because it requires a really good investment in both time and knowledge to make sure that you use it correctly because any dumb fool could use the basic uh, mod tool in game and slap mods on their characters it's gonna be horrible and most regular people would probably have a nightmare <laughs> looking at it but you can do that, but if you want to be good at using mods, you have to spend a lot of time and have to research a lot. So now I don't have any more incomplete mods. That's because I've unlocked all the stats and all the mods. So what you're going to see in this list here that says unmatched mods, those are the currently unequipped mods I have. Uh, as I said, I mentioned earlier that there are uh, under level 12 and that's not completely correct because for a purple mod it's level 3, uh, blue it's 6, green it's 9 and white it's 12. What you do when you up expose max is that you expose all the current stats on the mod. Now this looks pretty damn intimidating even to me there's l row and row and row after row with mods. You can use the filters. Now, you can do a lot of things here. You can do stat value checks. I want speed that is greater than 5. Update mod list. And we got 24 mods left. Can do, uh, and then on that I can add offense that is greater than 30. Update again. 9 mods left. So I have 9 mods with speed higher than 5 and offense higher than 30 that's not equipped and we can see here that most of them are already leveled all the way to 15 so I'm not gonna dive too much into this I could do another video I could do an entire video only about the unequipped mod manager because it's such a great tool and how to use it and stuff like that but we're gonna keep on moving to the next part so the last part of this preview of the Hot Utils app is the Swaga Events Gear Integration and this I'm pretty sure is available to all patrons starting from the first tier. These mod tools are available from the second tier, $10 tier. 
and the GAC part I'm pretty sure is available from the first tier as well. I'm gonna show you a picture at the end of the video that contains all the tiers and what you get from them. Uh, this Swaga events uh, integration is great. I haven't, before they released the uh, Galactic Legends, I haven't checked this out because I didn't actually really know what it, what it was good for, but now I know it's really, really good. What it does is when you press that button, it's gonna save all, it's gonna snapshot all the gear you have in game, and then it's going to transfer it into here. And it's gonna fill out all these for you. I haven't pressed a single button on this window before, yet Hot Utils has for me filled out every single number in here. And why this is good is because the Swaga Vent Scare tool shows you exactly what you need to bring a character up to the gear level desired. Now I want to bring Galactic Legends Ray to gear 13 as well, of course, so all I have to do is check out all these boxes. So if I would remove that one, you see the numbers change. And then you can see I require 300 Kyrotech shock prods and 400 battle computers. And I need 162 shock prods and 126 battle computers. So that's what I own and this is what it's going to cost me to buy this and this is the total cost up here. Now I can add some more characters just so you can see how this develops if you would need more. I need 30,000 gems. Ooh, that's, uh, that's a lot. Now this is for the Galactic Legends Kylo requirements and I haven't started on my first orders pretty much at all. And you can, as you can see the list gets pretty long when you have a lot of characters that are low level that you need to level up. But this is a great tool as well. It's If you were to take your time and set this up you could get it working to your satisfaction but that's a lot of time. I mean, there's a lot of gear in this game. Look at this. Without counting, there's hundreds of gear here and having to, since there's no inventory in the game, you can't easily check each of these gears. You'd have to find a character that needs the piece equipped to check how many of that piece he has and then write it over here. So. This is another very great integration from Hot Souls part. But besides that, this is what it looks like when you start the site. Uh, I didn't show it before since that would show my login credentials and I'm not really interested in that. But since I'm logging in now, I can go in here, press enter site and here we go. One thing important to note that I haven't mentioned earlier is that when you log into the site it's gonna log you out of the game so don't sit and uh, fool around with your mods when you're doing a territory battle uh, combat mission or doing your squad arena or stuff like that because logging into the site log you out, so logs you out of the game that's because otherwise it couldn't do all this amazing stuff with moving mods around and stuff like that. I would definitely recommend those of you that like your mods and do spend a lot of time modding i would definitely without a doubt recommend you to get a 10 dollar patreon on uh, hot utils it's for me it's been a game changer i changed my mods more times than i can count each week and every time i get a bunch of mods from the events in game or from double drops that we have now for May the 4th I'm gonna go in here go them, go through them sell every all the junk and upgrade everything else it's gonna keep your mod game top notch and it's gonna make sure that all other aspects of the game goes a lot better thanks for me and thanks to hot sauce for creating this amazing uh, utility it's uh, really really game changing take care of you all out there in this crazy world and until the next time may the force be with you